you guys for the recipe these are the ingredients that we're going to be using instant grain oats cinnamon semi-sweet chocolate chips almond milk vanilla you can use all-purpose flour but i actually blended my own oat flour using dried oats in the blender vanilla extract table salt coconut oil baking soda and one large banana I did forget to add brown sugar and maple syrup to that clip. So we're going to start by mixing our dry ingredients. We have a cup and a half of dried oats and one cup of our oat flour that we blended. One teaspoon of baking soda, half a teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of cinnamon, and we're going to mix these ingredients together. Now in a separate bowl we're going to mix our wet ingredients. We're going to smash one large banana. We're going to add one third of a cup of brown sugar, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, one tablespoon of coconut oil, and one tablespoon of maple syrup. We're gonna mix all these ingredients together and then we're gonna add the wet ingredients to the dry ingredients, like so. You're gonna mix everything up until you get a very crumbly texture that kind of looks like this. And once this is done, you're gonna continue to add two tablespoons of vanilla almond milk. I used unsweetened vanilla. Then you can go ahead and add your semi-sweet chocolate chips as the last step. If you find that your consistency is a little thick, you can go ahead and add a little bit more almond milk. Now we're ready to start rolling our ingredients into balls and placing them on a grease cookie sheet. If you want your cookies to be very soft, chewy, and almost muffin-like, make them the size that I'm making. If you prefer more of a thin, crunchy chocolate chip cookie, then make them half the size. And remember to place them at least an inch away from each other as they're going to expand in the oven. So I forgot to mention this part, but before you start prepping the cookie mixture, you want to preset your oven to 350 Fahrenheit. And then you want to bake them in the oven in the middle rack for about 15 minutes. And when they're done, they should look like this. They're really delicious, guys. Hope you enjoy.